Hey Kevin here, Mr. DIY Dork from DIYDork.com. Today I want to show you the easiest method I've ever come up with to find a stud in your wall. You can even find studs in your ceiling and that's really difficult to do. So check this out, I know you're going to like it. Alright, now if you've seen my other stud finding video, you've seen my method of taking an outlet or even a light switch, pulling the plate off, hammering a little nail to figure out which side the stud's on because that little box in there is mounted to a stud in the wall. Once you find that single stud, you should be able to measure either side of it in a you know, certain dimension to be able to find the other studs. Now, I was using 16 inches on center because most houses are built that way, but I did get a lot of comments saying that not every wall is built that way and uh, you know they're not all 16 inches on center. So I figured there had to be an easier method. Now on this wall, it's super obvious to figure out where the studs are because we have exposed screws. That's because we were uh, working on our house, we just added new drywall because we shifted our front door to the very center of the house, we had to add a new piece of drywall. So I figured this would be perfect to show this method. So check this out, this is really simple. Now a couple of weeks ago, I got an email from a lady and she said she loved the video and she wanted to know if the method worked on her ceiling. She was trying to find one of the joists in her ceiling to be able to hang something. But of course there's no outlet, there's no starting point to even know where to go. Now when we did the ceilings in our house, we put up board and batten ceilings, we covered up old popcorn ceilings. So we kind of used a similar method to how I showed in the first one. We took a nail and we just popped it in where we kind of thought one would be and we popped it about every half inch till we found a stud. Then we measured over, it ended up being every 16 inches. So then we were able to mark that way. But not everyone's gonna sit there and poke a bunch of holes in your ceiling or in a wall trying to test where everything is. So I knew there had to be an easier method. So I went back and forth to her till we figured out something that worked great. And I wish I would have thought of this so much sooner because this is a really cool idea. What we did is we used really strong magnets. Now what I have here is a three pack of what Hobby Lobby is calling quote unquote power magnets. But what they are are rare earth magnets. Little tiny half inch diameter rare earth magnets. I got a three pack here for five bucks. I've seen them cheaper at Walmart and I'm sure you can get them on Amazon or eBay for dirt cheap. You just gotta look for them. And uh, anyway, these are awesome. They're like, uh, like I said, half inch diameter, maybe an eighth of an inch thick. It's like a small watch battery, but they're super strong. They work perfect for this. Now I'll just show you how strong they are. Here's a pair of needle nose pliers. If you ever held a pair, you know they got a decent amount of weight to them. This is one single magnet. It's inside the slick plastic, but it still holds strong. Try doing that with a kitchen magnet, it doesn't work. You can sit there and shake this thing and it's not really gonna come off. You have to give it a lot of force for it to fling off. So these things are strong. Now, if you fast forward to some of my other videos on my channel, recently I made a cool little kind of decorative magnet set using those rare earth magnets. And I, I called them mini log magnets. They were just little, you know, I cut up sticks in the yard and I put the magnet on the end and it kind of looks like a tree is growing out of your fridge or your message board or whatever. So I thought I could adapt it to this and it'd be a perfect stud finding idea. So instead of using a stick, you could use a dowel rod, maybe a three quarter inch diameter or one inch. You drill out the back and you glue in one of these magnets. I'll link to the video how I made this. You can just substitute a, a dowel rod and it'll work perfect. So what we're gonna do is use the magnet to find the screws or the nails that are in your uh, drywall holding it up to the studs. Now this, since it's raw and I can actually see the screws, we know it works, but you get an idea of how this, you know, how this works here. Once you find the stud, it will stick to it. There's nothing here, but once I find that one, it will stick. Like I said, super easy here, but what about, you know, finished painted drywall? How would you find them? So what you do is just go real slow until you find one and you'll fill it full and then you'll be able to let go and it's holding on, okay? So you can take a little piece of painter's tape, stick it right on that spot. You know there's one there. You can take a level off that line. It should be one. If you want to test again, just go around until you think you're going to find one. And there we go, there's another one. You take another piece of tape, whoop, stick it right there. Now you know there's a stud right there. So you can take a level and just kind of guesstimate if you had to, uh, you know, just know for sure you could tap in a nail, but you know there's one there, it's gonna work perfect. So super simple idea, just using magnets and uh, no math, no brains, no anything you need. Just these little tiny magnets and a dowel rod. You don't even have to use a dowel rod if you want to. I just thought it'd be kind of cool to have something to hold on to. So I hope you like that. This is a no-brainer method that will definitely work to help you find the studs in your wall.